गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ साइंस लैब एक्टिविटी इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट सर दिस इज नेचर ऑफ मैटर सोल्यूशन नेचर ऑफ मैटर सच एज सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन इन देंस ट्रू सोल्यूशन सस्पेंशन सस्पेंशन एंड कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन सो द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज फर्स्ट वील राइट एम in which we will write to prepare a true solution to prepare true solution true true solution suspension suspension and colloidal solution colloidal solution the two solutions of common salt sugar or alum either of one any of one we can prepare by dissolving simply dissolving the the in a beaker you will take in a beaker in which uh, one spatula full of sugar or tumbler full of water and uh, nearly 5 grams of sugar or salt and with the help of a stirrer we will stir it and completely dissolve you will see that all the particles of this solute particle they will dissolve completely in the solvent so and finally we will get true solution which is quite transparent a true solution is a homogeneous transparent solution in which solute completely dissolved in the solvent and cannot be separated from the solvent by the by means of filtration if we we will uh, we will use a funnel and a filter paper and pass it through the filter paper uh, it do not give the any residue on the filter paper it will completely passes through the filter paper so it will show that it is true solution homogeneous in which no any solute particle is left remain okay it has the particle size less than 10 to the power 10 to the power minus 9 meter the size of the particle size size of the particle is 10 to the power minus 9 meter so it is a clear and transparent solution it is clear and transparent it is clear and transparent solution and passes through the filter paper passes through filter paper easily it is stable and does not scatter light the true solution true solution is stable and does not <clears throat> and does not scatter light or we can say that true solution cannot show tindall's effect which is scatter the light okay second is colloidal solution colloidal solution the colloidal solution is heterogeneous system of mixing it is the heterogeneous system of mixing in which in which the solute particle dissolve do not dissolve completely in the solvent 
okay and uh, the mixture is slightly translucent the mixture is slightly translucent and has a particle size which ranges from 10 to the power minus 8 meter to 10 to the power minus 6 meter this is the size of the particle of colloidal solution colloidal state it can pass through normal filter paper easily do not leave leave any type of residue but in colloidal solution the particles all the particles cannot pass through the what's uh, what meant filter paper number one or we can say that parchment paper okay <clears throat> now the next is suspension suspension a suspension is a heterogeneous opaque mixture it is a heterogeneous opaque it is heterogeneous and opaque mixture and the particle size size of the particle particle size of the suspension is more than it is more than 10 to the power minus 5 meter its particle do not passes through the fil normal filter paper it do not do not passes normal filter paper okay the particles cannot passes from normal filter paper but <clears throat> and forms opaque solution it's the gravity why the why the particles and it is completely unstable also it is completely unstable it is completely unstable it means on mixing initially all the particles will mix together uniformly but after some time it will separate out and forms layer or uh, we can say that uh, when you dissolve the particles in the solvent it will forms layer after some times when we keep it undisturbed for <coughs> 15 minute or 10 minute <coughs> all the solid particles will settle at the bottom okay under the gravity and when left undisturbed it will forms layer two layer topical layer and bottom layer the bottom layer is all the solid particles whereas tropical layer they are solvent so these are the characteristics of suspension colloidal solutions and true solutions as according to these characteristic feature we will differentiate them with the heads broad heads such as transparency next is filtration criteria filtration criteria and third is stability so we can differentiate them on these three bases so in case of transparency you have seen that true, true solution true solutions are clear transparent true solution they are clear transparent homogeneous mixture whereas suspensions they are 
clear homogeneous stable it means it do not separate out and the particle size is below 1 nanometer that is 10 to the power minus 9 meter these are the characteristics of transparency of true solution suspension when the, uh, the suspensions are heterogeneous I have already told you they are opaque they are heterogeneous the size of the particles is 10 to the power minus 5 meter and it do not it do it can easily passes through the filter paper completely and they are completely unstable it means it will forms layer very soon whereas colloidal particles colloidal solutions the colloidal solutions are translucent the particle size ranges between 10 to power minus 8 meter to 10 to power minus 6 meter and uh, they are stable they are stable and they show Tyndall's effect colloidal solution shows Tyndall's effect it means the dissolved particles they reflect light the size of the particles are in nanometer and they will reflect the light and this effect is known as Tyndall's effect when we filter the true solution the true solution do not left any residue over the filter paper okay whereas suspensions suspensions will forms residue over the filter paper and the filtrate is collected under the filter funnel colloidal solutions they also do not forms any residue on the normal filter paper but it can forms it cannot passes through whatman filter paper number one or we can say that a parchment paper the colloidal paper colloidal solutions cannot passes through the parchment paper okay as for the stability we can differentiate true solution that true solutions are completely stable suspensions are unstable it means it will forms layer after sometimes when we left undisturbed whereas colloidal solutions it is also stable so these are the descriptions about differentiations about uh, true solutions colloidal solutions and suspensions uh, on the basis of transparency filtration and stability so finally we can conclude that uh, <clears throat> we can conclude that uh, true solutions are stable whereas suspensions are unstable collateral solutions are stable residues in, in true solutions it do not forms any residue and it is completely stable in nature suspension it will forms residue and unstable in nature collateral solutions it can forms residue on what meant filter paper number one whereas from normal filter paper it can easily passes and collateral solution is completely stable so this is the final conclusion of colloidal solution true solutions and suspension let's rest of the experiment we will see in our second part of the video thank you